unexpected challenging uh, circumstances. We were warned for the fog, but unexperienced as we are, we thought it would be okay. We left A Coruña and had a visibility of 1500 meters and we thought that's fine. But after one and a half hours of sailing, the fog got denser and we got 50 meters of visibility. Well, what do you do? Sail back? This was the first time we were very happy with our new radar. And then we were surprised by a lot of dolphins. It was as if they said, don't worry, we've got your back. We are Bart, Kim and Liz. We fell in love with sailing and each other on a sailing school. We bought Tranquility, a 33 foot sailboat to explore the world. But then we got our lovely daughter, Liz. And after two years of sailing with her around the Netherlands, we feel confident enough to live our dream with the three of us. We have never had so many dolphins swimming with us. It's mesmerizing. We could watch them all day. What do you It is a trip of about 9 hours, but we are not alone. We sail together with our good friends from Tiki. And because we have some contact over the radio, it feels they are close by. There's the mist. We're almost at our anchorage. And I feel sunshine is in the air. It opens up. There are the boats we're going for. This is quite special. Foggy and mist over there. And here... We entered the most beautiful place we have ever sailed in. such an amazing vibe around here, all the cruisers felt it. So the crew of Make My Day initiated a beach bonfire. So everybody beached their dinghy, the small rubber boats, and we had a very nice evening. Well, we do have had many, so we can sail being on the motor, and today we are going to round Cape Finisterre. Cabo Finisterre. Some say it's the end of the world. It's also uh, known for its uh, acceleration winds. As you can see, we uh, do not experience that because it's a boat trip without seals. It's uh, another day with no wind. So 
long story here in uh, in Galicia. So, Corcubion that is. And then our anchor procedure. We scout for a place and sail by to see if there is enough room. Then we turn the boat against the wind to sail slowly and precise to the place where we drop our anchor. We release around 30 meter of anchor chain and pull the anchor in the ground by reversing and slowly run up the RPM of the engine. Check for a few minutes and we know we are good. And then we look for a beach to release some energy. Oh, they have to the beach with the dinghy and we had some nice uh, playtime then the challenge is how to avoid to get sand on your boat because beaches are beautiful but sand is horrible um, so we just uh, wash this off with uh, all the salt water you can get and now we have these shower bags <laughs> we have these shower bags and they just heat up in the sun so it's today it's yeah it's nice water and we can just wash this off with some sweet water all the salt oh, gone look nice hairs Ooh, Liz, that's up. nice Woo. There's just this predator bird that tries to land on our moss, but he can't. I thought he attacked the Spanish flag, but he tried to land. And he's been hunted down by <laughs> all those other birds. Seagulls. nice buildings and it, the weather is perfect so nothing to complain yet yeah. and we don't have uh, have to worry about the kids because they're just playing they around. have entertainment over here these are just beautiful Beautiful small streets. The problem is, we do want to vlog a little bit, but uh, Liz wants to have the camera all the time. So uh, I'm sorry for all the shakiness of the images because that's Liz. We are getting onto a lovely little uh, place. 
Ja, je mag zo. Let's go. Ik wil zo kijken. Ik wil zo kijken. Ik wil zo. Kijk je. Ah. Mama, ik ga mama. Ja, film mama. Filmpje. Ik ga vliegen van Marco. Ja. Wat zie je allemaal? Ah, ah mama en mama. Mama, kijk. Hola. Not in a boat, but in a car. Where are we going? Santiago de Compostela. Sla links af naar Travesia Y en sla links af naar Aldea O Marino. Can you tell something about Santiago de Compostela? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very beautiful place in Galicia. It's uh, northern of Spain. So there are uh, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of pilgrims who are uh, walking uh, to uh, Santiago de Compostela each year because they uh, think, they might think that one of the apostles is uh, buried in uh, Santiago de Compostela. So it's uh, like a holy place. in the city we just had a coffee break and ordered a tart but it was really really big very narrow ah look at this here Fleming it was a hell of a walk seven days but we made it <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah we did <laughs> so we are at the heart of the city <laughs> I think um, it's really beautiful with, beautiful with all the old buildings Dat is mooi. Well, this was it. If you have any questions, please let us know. And for now, goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all. Thank you.